Uh, you like should see that. It's like a battle. Oh, it's dead already. It was a normal rhino, so, rhino, so yeah. Uh, it was funny to see. It sucked. <laughs> the rhino was screwed. Mm -hmm. Hello folks, I'm Mortuari and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles and let me show you what, you, uh, what I have done already. So, you notice I've been expanding the base a little bit, the outside, outer walls and yeah, you might have noticed it a few days, days ago but uh, during one of my trips to the Thrall City I also found and named Blacksmith and <sighs> it took ages to break its will but I think it should be ready now. Here he is, Hyam Hammerhand. I'm gonna be putting him up in uh, the blacksmith to see, to see what he gives us. I have no idea what he, what he gives us. Uh, it's a tier four one, so better than the tier three. It should produce stuff faster, but uh, it should also have some more uh, items available. Uh, changing the position of the microphone a little bit. Here we go. So this one gives us the. Exceptional Stygian Kopesh. Nice, I'm gonna be putting it in here. Now let's see what this one does. The Exceptional Longsword and the Flawless Longsword. Hmm, not sure what that does, but we will have to take a look at that pretty soon. So this is also a tier 3 one, yeah. Do we have a tier 2 one? Yes. Can replace that one now. Perfect. Perfecto. Yeah, I have a, sp a few spare trolls already. Uh, let me check what I need for these. I need branches and steel bars. I should have plenty of those. Can I not make it? Yes, I can make one of these and I can make one of these. Let's just wait until that is finished and yeah, get back to... Uh, checking what they are oh yeah one other thing I ha I can show you is actually I think it's here yes I got a Stygian Armorer 3 and it gives me the Stygian Shield I'm not quite sure if I have shown that already but let me keep it for you it looks quite nice there uh, V Z to show you this is how the shield looks it looks pretty doesn't it I like it so pretty soon we will have a nice looking shield and yeah maybe a new weapon as well. But for now I think uh, I think I will just be uh, producing some materials because it's about time we move our production area to the inside of the base and I've heard about Scripter that he might be getting online soon so maybe we will be building something up here, some uh, production stuff. We need a crafter's area, an area where we have our blacksmiths and our uh, smelters and our carpenters and other things uh, together. So, yeah, we will have to break this down and move it to the other side. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, getting some stuff, preparing some stuff uh, until we have the two swords ready. And then I will get back to you guys. And Oh, they are ready. Or Ooh. They are ready already. <laughs> okay. Uh, the flawless one. The This one. Maybe we can also compare it to the default, uh, to the ancient shield. Let me have a look at the ancient shield. The ancient shield has 64 health damage and 30% uh, penetration. Can I repair it? I need wood for that. And then I think I have some wood in here. Yep. Can I completely repair it so we have an idea about its stats? Yeah, 140 durability. This one has 38 health damage, 27% armor penetration, but 180 durability. Oh, nice. So, the Ancient Kopesh, 76% health damage, 18% armor penetration, and 245 uh, duration. Ooh, duration is a lot bigger on this one. Uh, damage is a little bit lower on the exceptional one, but duration is oh high. 
check this one. Oh, even better. Yeah, it has twice the duration, but how does it look? Damage-wise, it's a little bit lower, but I don't really mind about that. So, the new shield, my old sword, the new exceptional one, it looks okay. The new flawless one, well, it looks the same actually. But hey, we, we can make it. It's a nice one. I might be trying to use that instead for a while and see what happens. Let me get working on some uh, materials and then I will get back to you guys and maybe, uh, maybe Skipta will be back by then as well. Well, look at this folks. I have been running around placing some torches uh, on the, the ramparts of our building and it looks amazing yeah meanwhile daylight is breaking again so yeah no longer can enjoy uh, the lights i need to put up some more torches and yeah probably have some at the doorways as well uh, i'm not going to be putting up torches up on this side because i'm thinking about rebuilding that yeah i know it's, it's pretty insane it has just been put up but yeah maybe we should really do that but i think meanwhile scripter is uh is logging in so i will be checking out with him to see what we can do together yeah i was busy putting up some torches i i had enough of running around in the darkness and falling off uh, the building so i put up torches and i put up fences all around uh, the top ramparts mm, looks good yeah, it's looking good i'm not quite sure uh if i will be closing up the inside of the of the walls I probably should, but uh, I think for now I will be keeping the materials to extend everything. We can always yeah. finish the inside of the walls later on. The same. Better. I mean, yeah, we should definitely close them up. Sure. Yeah, at some point we should. But let's have the outside done first. Mm -hmm. And then we have a secure area more or less, and then we can do this whenever we want. Yeah, I think this one will stretch up here. I will be adding another tower up here, and then... Mm -hmm. Then I think we should be heading in that direction with the big yeah, wall. Fixed distance between the towers or whenever you feel like it. Uh, I will be trying to have it so that uh, I can... Uh, how was? How did I calculate that? Uh, I did it wrong the first few times because I okay. wanted to have uh, uh, two... Uh, what I wanted was two walls, a door frame, and then again two walls, a door frame, two walls. That's what I wanted to do. So with 11 right. blocks... With 11 walls, that's possible. Two walls, a door frame, 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 and then two walls. Mm -hmm. and, and then we have the tower. So that that's what I'm what I will be doing. That way I have two two doors. Uh I have door frames every three walls. Which yeah, should should be good I for like for arches. So uh, the plan for today. The plan plan we have a plan I don't, I don't know i thought you were bringing the plans today <laughs> i'm killing rocks you're killing rocks killing yes ro killing rocks they are a little bit buggy they don't fight back oh yeah happens mm. sometimes so where do we want to have the crafting area yeah I, it doesn't really Just matter where we build i think yeah the area where you are that corner can can be completely mm. crafting shop thingies there are some tier two materials uh, in in the box already. I made mm -hmm. made some stuff. That. Feel free to yeah, use this, it. This is the gate. We're not going to touch that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to drop them on the ground. I mean, we have lovely even ground here. If I can build them without foundation support, then I'm just going to put them down. The blacksmiths. Uh, well, the furnaces and all that stuff. Yeah, but if you do that, we won't be able to place roofs above them, if necessary. We need, we need a roof above the furnace. Well, decoration-wise, maybe. Decoration I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But then it's... Furnace is only stone. We can always remake that when we want to. It's just I want to get stuff moved. Yeah. Oh, the last tower I did yesterday, it was a breeze. It was the, the sixth or the seventh tower I did. So my, by now, I have an idea, an idea what, what might cause problems. <laughs> and I did it without any problems this time. It's... Good? Yeah. I had... So it's used with the other ones. Yeah, well, once you know the things that can cause problems, then uh, it's pretty easy to fix. Yeah, I guess so. 
you just think about it in advance and then you don't have any problems. Mm -hmm. I tried something in single player where I had, uh, how, how should I call it, uh, a six corner thingy with six blacksmiths. And then mm -hmm. each blacksmith had uh, two, uh, two uh, furnaces neck, uh, uh, behind it and uh, mm -hmm. a cauldron and some boxes. But it was uh, it was a pain in the ass to build. Yeah, I believe you. Getting everything lined up correctly the way I wanted it was <laughs> mm. <laughs> took me Welcome ages. To my world. <laughs> yeah, took me ages. Uh, I oh, just yes. I think I rebuilt all the forges and, and all the furnaces about ten times at least. I'm not gonna but, do that again soon. Okay, here I am, here I am, here I am, checking things. Hmm. There is plenty of stuff up already. Oh yeah, just, you know, finishing touches and things. Smelters. I think we have plenty of smelters and, and carpenters as well. Plenty of thralls to put in here. Uh -huh. But maybe you should uh, start with the higher tier ones. Come on, don't... Stupid game. Really? Stupid. Stupid right, game. It's a, a stupid game. Them. I don't care. Yes. Oh, because there's a box. <laughs> when you place these, you don't see that right here. There's a tiny little box. Yep. So I was wondering why this wouldn't line up. It's, it looked so perfect, but yeah, obviously because of that stupid box. All right. They could make one more, although it looks good. I like to keep it as it is. Should put some torches in between here somewhere and then I think we're good. A row of boxes would probably be good. The row of boxes. Mm -hmm. Stick some along the wall. Some just next to the furnaces to close this area off a little bit. I mean, I left room between different stations so you can walk through them mm -hmm. and then don't have just you know a square of where everything is but only one way in or out yeah i think that's quite okay the, the way it is now um hmm. anything else we need well obviously you want to get the shrines and templates and all that stuff moved over here at some stage the dancers and, yeah 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 and i leave all of those buildings that I can't make to those guys who have all the religions. Yeah, I don't. I I, I uh, use the what's it called, the yellow lotus potion, so I don't have all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that doesn't unlearn your religions. I should have it, I think. Yeah, I think they fixed that, right? Yeah. Okay, what else are we missing? Let's have a quick look. Campfire, we don't need. No. Nope. Tomorrow we have one. That should be enough. Unless we get more thralls with their own uh, expertise and, and recipes. Yeah, but then you can just sw switch them out when you need them. Yeah, or, you know, you can just put down some more and just leave them there, but that's for later. For actual use, we just need one, if anything. In furnaces, we have enough. Blacksmith bench, we have four. Carpenter's bench, we have two, I believe. Three, maybe two tanneries, that's good. So, the only things that I could still do would be well, the beds, but those I would like to put inside somewhere. Yeah, we need to make a how, how is it called? We we should probably make a, a little pub, a little inn tavern thingy where we have beds and yeah, kegs and, and tables. Here. I think something like that would be nice. Mm hmm. But then you also just need all the engrams for the decorative stuff, and I don't Yeah, have definitely. Much of those. I, I don't have the tables and the stools currently. I could do that. I don't have those, but. Uh, I do. It would be nice. Carpet, tapestry, hide rock, square stool, round stool, woven stool, table, round table, chair, banner, flag, earthenware, jug, lock bench. Yeah, for whatever reason, I have those. 
And this Dijon brazier, which is quite a nice thing. Oh yeah, the brazier. I, I need to put some of those up, actually. Some points. I, I can make you some. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, you should see that. Here. It's like a battle. Oh, it's dead already. It was a normal rhino, so, rhino, so yeah. Uh, it was funny to see. It sucked. <laughs> the rhino was screwed. Mm -hmm. There, at least we have two carpenters ready, so... I'm gonna be moving some other stuff over as well while I'm waiting for the twine and stuff to craft. Mm -hmm. Mm, what can we bring over on it already? Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. We dip our feet at the water's edge and everyone would come along to meet us there We'll have a competition to see who can trap for longer Cause every year my body's getting stronger We can swim all day and dance into the night But we're not coming home till the moon Shines till the moonlight shines. Do 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 see if I can uh, how the lights look on the building now that uh, night is finally falling yeah it looks okay but I will need more torches like I seem to have forgotten two torches in the in the archer spots up here so yeah we'll have to fix that later on but not right now mm. I think this is the last one we're bringing over. No? What's in this one? Oh crap, it just disappeared. Uh, I think that's gonna be it. We have two dancers here, should I? Yeah, just bring everybody over. It's good. I just hope it won't be a bad entry. No, it isn't. This one? Come on. Come with me, please. Oh, I got him, I got him. Yeah, that's the box I'm using for my storage, for my building materials. I know, that's why I'm putting all the hard bricks in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Just in case you were wondering where all of those came from. Yeah. Okay, folks, look what we, ha we have done. Well, I have extended the wall a little bit. So uh, the shape of our building starts to... Uh, 
to be built up. I think uh, I will be putting up a tower up here and try to head in that direction and see if we can uh, encircle these lands completely. But we also brought all our production stuff from the little barrack we had up until this portion here. So we put everything up here. Uh, put my Shrine of Mitra, which I already upgraded. We have the Tanners here in this corner. We have some chests. We have some blacksmiths, four of them. Maybe we'll add a few more. We have a few carpenters, an armorer. And here we have our lineup for our smelters and our cooks. So yeah, we, we, we were very busy moving everything. It took us a while to move everything down. But luckily, Scripta was here to help us. And yeah, things are starting to look pretty much like a, a little city. Uh, I personally might have placed some of these things inside a building. But yeah. This looks like a, a nice crafting area like that as well. We still need to put up some decoration, of course, some uh, some torches and other things later on. Let's have a look from the top. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good. Yeah, well, I think this will wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video when you are there. Go ahead and check the description. That's where you will find links to our social media pages, links to our Patreon page where you can support us and maybe join us on our Patreon server, on this server actually. And uh, there are also links to the other crazy folks and the other creative misfits guys, including a link to Scripter's channel as well. And by all means, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.